It's May 2016 and we are visiting the South American country of Peru. One of the top railway journeys in the world is the Andean Explorer, which will take us from Puno on the shores of Lake Titicaca to Cusco where we overnight before taking a shorter rail journey to Agua Calientes, the gateway to the famous Machu Picchu. Lake Titicaca at 3,800 metres or 12,500 feet is the highest navigable lake in the world. The altitude sometimes makes for tough going. It's an early start at Puno Station the following morning to catch the ten and a half hour Andean Explorer service to Cusco. Oh, oh you have fried? Yes sir, we have fried. Yeah, fried, fried. Yes. <laughs> Still the service is standard, although the prices are as eye-watering as the views. The train has been climbing slowly since we left Puno and stops here at the highest point at an altitude of 4,319 metres or 14,250 feet. Okay. 
Here we have the opportunity to purchase souvenirs. Darkness is falling as we approach the city of Cusco. Back on the train now for the relatively short two hour journey through some stunning scenery to an Agua Calientes. Agua Calientes is a bustling tourist town, purpose-built to cater for the two and a half thousand tourists who, every day, visit Peru's jewel in the crown, Machu Picchu. For many visitors to Peru, a visit to the Inca city of Machu Picchu is a long-anticipated high point of their trip. In a spectacular location, it's the best-known archaeological site on the continent. This ancient city only survived because it was never discovered by the conquering Spaniards and was virtually forgotten until the early part of the 20th century.